Hi guys, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you are still recovering from all of the food that you ate like I am. Um, I went to the gym today and it wasn't a good workout because I think I was just still feeling like a roly-poly and just was still thinking about pie and everything. Um, so I don't know if some of you guys don't know, but I um, do have a dairy allergy now. It got brought on within like the first of a year and it just keeps getting worse. So about each month I kind of take some stuff out of my diet just because um, I can't have it. Like, And it's getting to the point of like, um, I have a reaction to barley. I don't know. So, but my point was that, um, so the pumpkin pie that was made was made with coconut milk instead of condensed milk. And oh my God, I hope everyone changes to it because it tasted so much better. In my opinion, I already think pumpkin pie is amazing as it is. But then when you switch out the condensed milk with coconut milk, it's like, I'm going to say the word, it's so moist. Um, it did um, like lack the, it was easier to like fall apart, I guess. Um, but I mean, it all tastes the same, so I would much rather have a messed up delicious pie than a regular old put together pie. <laughs> but yes, I hope you guys did get to spend some time with some family as you could. I know it is different this year, and I had to like tell myself, I was like, it's Thanksgiving, right? Like, but like all day. I was like, I'm eating a lot. I'm having a huge lunch. So it's Thanksgiving. Um, my family and I, we took a community nap. We played some games. Um, ever since COVID, I am a pro. Well, my family would say I'm not, but I become a pro at Euchre. I'm a risk taker. Sometimes it um, works out and sometimes it doesn't, but you know what? I'm all about taking risks. And um, Thanksgiving, it didn't work out for me. Um, I kept losing. Sorry, dad. You were on my team that night. But besides that, I wanted to, I'm currently in the process of writing a blog, but I wanted to share one from last week and read it as I did honestly get some feedback. I didn't, I didn't see that I got a lot of views or like likes, I should say on Facebook, but I got like a lot of feedback from like private conversations that I had. So this one is the um, one titled Live a Life Less of Prejudgments. And like I said before, I think I've said it before, but um, that I write a lot, kind of like talking to my younger self, talking to myself presently and talking to myself in the future. So um, when I write, like I try to be as real as I can because I am not a perfect person, but my goal each and every day is to be better than yesterday and try to grow and try to read something every day, try to listen to something every day that will help me in the process of becoming a better person. So um, I hope that everyone that meets me comes like with an open mind. And if you did have, uh, I don't know, I hope that with everyone that you come with an open mind and not dwell on the past what has happened if you did have a bad like connection in the beginning with someone that you still give them a chance um, in the future but like I said this one's called light live a life less of prejudgments admit I will be the first one to admit that I am a user of the prejudgments or I was and I'm working on lessing them every single day but who isn't don't you dare say not me you jerk Admit it, like me, there's nothing wrong with calling yourself out. It's actually very healthy and humbling. You could very well just not be aware that you're doing it. We have these prejudgments due to rumors, our perception of others, our story that we created about them, how they dress, who they hang around, socioeconomic status, gender, race, religion, word of mouth, others' opinions, Honestly, any demographics about a person that can be prejudged. How is this fair? How does this happen? At one point in our lifetime, do we get a status and label put on us? Why is this concept even a thing? Who made the ranking on who is better than anyone? The thing is, the whole concept is bullshit. 
We all were innocent babies once. We all were created by choice or surprise. So when did dictating on what others could or couldn't become a thing? You know who dictates that? You do. We are all giving choices in life, no matter what you were fetched. You are the only one who can judge yourself. You are your own worst critic, right? If only we all had that mindset. We let others decide who we are, and when that happens, our whole sense of creativity, self, dreams, hopes, etc., are mangled and controlled like a puppet. Impl implement this into your everyday life. So, fight back. But you know how you begin this fight? You want others to stop holding prejudgments on you? Then you need to stop being a hypocrite and follow that advice on others. If you change your lens of the world and see people for who they are, who they truly are, give them a chance and let them use their voice. Then they are going to open up the doors to let you do the same and see you for who you are and let you use your voice. It's not going to be easy though. It's going to take hard work as this is a mindset change. We all have different backgrounds, family, careers, likes, dislikes. When someone doesn't fit your same aspirations or pleasures, be open-minded and curious. You never know. You could learn a skill or hobby that you didn't even know you liked. Having a diverse community is a beautiful learning opportunity for you and everyone. Did you know that you obtain traits and behaviors from the five closest people you're around? Did you just negatively, negatively reflect on who you're spending so much time with? Or were you pleasantly like surprised? About who you're spending so much time with. Is that kind of scary though? Just thinking about all, just think about all of the what if friendships, relationships, family members, opportunities, new jobs, travels that you could have experienced but turned down because of what you heard about them or what you only physically saw from your perspective or you only took in the fact of the labels that they were pre-assigned or you turned someone down because of the fear and what others would say. Did you ever actually have a genuine conversation with them? Did you ever actually give this opportunity a chance? Did you ever actually give someone or something the fair chance of creating your own opinion on it? What made you so superior that you could label something or someone? We all pooped our pants for at least two years, for God's sakes. Now, I'm not saying that you have to allow everyone into your life because some people need a deadbolt from your life. That's just a fact. I'm asking that you give it a shot. Go out of the ordinary. Go to Boise, Idaho instead of San Diego, California. Go to dinner with the smartest, not hottest kid in the class. Go sit with the kid who is eating all alone at lunch instead of the athletes. Go take the job that just started being a business last week instead of working for Amazon. There's beauty on the road less traveled. Be the chance. We've all felt like we needed to have someone or something take a chance on us. Be that chance for someone. How cool would it be to be that open-minded, comfortable, warm, welcoming chance? Find your yellow, guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me. Um, I know I'm just wearing a sweater right now. I just washed my face. I'm getting ready for bed, but I just really had the urge to talk and um, check in with you guys and let you guys know that I'm still around here and I'm still writing. Um, but I just like do it when I can and when I get the urge because you know a writer's block is a thing there's so many thoughts going in my mind but um, writing a whole page on and trying to get my thoughts out is difficult um, but I appreciate the support I will forever um, appreciate that and I love you guys and right now it's 9 15 Monday November 30th a month until my birthday say what um oh, yeah I'm gonna be 23 <laughs> but yeah besides that um yeah I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope you have a beautiful Tuesday because I'm gonna post this tonight all right bye